Today we're going to talk about the difference between this and this. And are they the same thing? Well, they're not, and sometimes it matters. Let's take a look. Welcome back everybody, thanks for being here. Today we're gonna to talk about the difference. Today we're gonna to talk about functions and what happens when we don't have any arguments in our functions. Should we write it like this or should we write it like this? Does it make a difference? And of course there's lots of heated debates about this on the internet. You're gonna hear a lot of people have very strong opinions. And if it didn't matter at all, I probably wouldn't even make a video about it, but it does matter a little bit, so let's definitely take a look. Now before we jump into the code, I do want to thank everyone who supports this channel, either on Patreon, buying merch, or just telling all your friends what a great channel it is. Either way, however you support the channel, thank you for helping me do what I do. Now let's jump into the code. Okay, so we're starting as usual with a very simple program here. Uh, not much to it, but let's say we've got a empty main here and I'm going to just create a function that is empty, right? So we'll call it foo. And let's just say that we do this, right? This is really common. I have definitely done this a lot. Uh, if you've been watching my videos long enough, you've definitely seen me be guilty of this. And you might think, what's the big deal? Who cares? This is fine. And, and and, and often it is, we'll take a look, but let's just make this do something very simple. So let's just return 15, just so it's functional. And then down here, let's just say int result equals foo. And then I'm going to print f result is percent d, and then we'll print out result. Okay, so pretty simple. I actually didn't create a make file. Uh, that's really unusual for me, but that's okay. So let's just come down here and we will do gcc-g example.c example. And so I can compile it. Great, no problem. And we can run example, right? So it worked fine. It worked the way we expected. Really no worries. Now, what if I later on came down here and let's say I'm changing some things around and I accidentally add a bug to my code and I say something like I add a 12 here thinking, hey, I'm going I'm to pass an argument to this, even though up here it doesn't take an argument. But so if I do this and I come back down here and I go to compile it. So here I'm going to get a warning, which is really useful. You know, I mean, because I, I pass too many arguments to it. Um, let's just make sure that Clang does this as well. Yeah, so they're both giving me these, these warnings saying, hey, this might not be what you want to do. But it's interesting that this is a warning. You know, so it's a warning, meaning my code's still compiled. I can still come in here and say example, and it still runs. So the question is, why didn't this give me an error, right? I called this function incorrectly, right? Well, actually, that's not the case. According to the C language, when you don't put anything in here, that just means this function can take zero or more arguments. If I wanted to tell the compiler that this must always have no arguments, I should say void here. Okay, now let's see what happens. Let's see how this looks different. Now, if I come in here and I compile, well, if you come in here, now we get an error, right? Now it actually enforces this and says, now I'm not gonna compile this because you said that it takes no arguments up here and then you use it with an argument. And so I'm not just going to throw a warning. I'm gonna give you an error and this is not going to compile. And in some older compilers, there were times where you wouldn't even get a warning it would just just compile and you just would kind of not give you what you wanted, maybe give some confusion, but you know, it is in this case clearly a bug. And so anytime you don't want arguments, you should add void. Even though I know I haven't done that in all of my videos, I'm sometimes in a hurry and old habits die hard, but this is definitely a good idea to make sure that your compilation fails when you want it to, when you have a bug. Because adding void here then actually requires me to come down here and remove that before it will allow me to proceed and actually compile my code successfully. And of course, as I mentioned before, people do get really worked up about this. And usually I'm the type of person that says, hey, chill out, it's okay, it's not gonna be the end of the world. And this isn't the end of the world, but this really is good advice. So if somebody's telling you, you should add void to your functions that don't take arguments, well, listen to them. They're actually trying to help you out. It is a good thing. Many times it won't make a difference, but it might make a difference in some of your projects. And so it's a good habit to get into. And I'm going to try to be better about that moving forward. So anyway, it's a little thing. I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned something new today. And until next week, I'll see you later.